people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we got some very exciting news, including the revival of Scott Games, with Scott Cawthon creating an official FNAF News account, which has given us our first look at what we can expect to see for FNAF's 10 year anniversary. U2's has released their much anticipated FNAF movie products, and Nixon has shown off our first look at a brand new level in the joy of creation. So that and so much more we're going to be talking about in today's FNAF News video. If you're excited, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button gosh dang it we are getting so close to a hundred thousand subscribers and i know a lot of you guys watching these videos are not subscribed but anyways let's just hop right into the news starting off with some brand new previews for volume 5 of the fazbear frights graphic novels with this brand new preview showing off a preview for each of the three stories included in this graphic novel collection those being jump for tickets see bonnies and find player 2 the reaction so far to these previews has been absolutely fantastic a lot of people saying this is some of the best looking graphic novel adaptations we've gotten and i wholeheartedly agree i'd love to know you're gonna be picking up this brand new graphic novel collection when it releases on September 3rd. Moving on now to Hot Topic, they just released three brand new FNAF t-shirts. This first one featuring the puppet from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Honestly, pretty perfect timing as we're all getting super excited for the second FNAF movie. And speaking of FNAF 2 characters, the second t-shirt features Balloon Boy with some honestly really fantastic art. I'm not entirely sure who did the art for these t-shirts, but they look incredible. And well, speaking of movies, the third and final shirt features Ella who does appear in the first FNAF movie. Though, of course, we all know she debuted in the Charlie trilogy of books, coming back for 1.35 a.m. Now, I'm just saying, the last time we got a t-shirt that featured a Fazbear Fright character... Well, they got a game. So I guess don't be too shocked if in a year or two from now we get a 1.35 a.m. video game announced. And lastly, for random FNAF merchandise news, Voyager has released a brand new FNAF skateboard. So if you ever wanted to hit a sick ollie or kickflip or other cool tricks you do on a skateboard that I definitely know the name of, well now... Freddy Fazbear can join you. Moving on now to Hex, we're getting closer and closer to their next release of FNAF plushies. With that upcoming wave finishing off the withered animatronics with Chica and Golden Freddy and also including Springtrap. And while Golden Freddy and Chica are still set to be released on May 31st, unfortunately Springtrap has been indefinitely delayed. With Docker revealing that they're still awaiting approvals to release the Springtrap plushie, though also teasing that he is going to cook up something super special for when Springtrap does ultimately release. Release. And of course, because these are FNAF Hex plushies, they're all going to come with collectible cards. Up on the screen right now, you can see the cards for Golden Freddy, Chica, and Springtrap. So an unfortunate delay with the Springtrap plushie, but like I said, Withered Chica, Withered Golden Freddy, they're still releasing on the 31st of May. And it also seems like Hex has a desire to make a plush of DJ Music Man at some point in the future. With Daka replying to someone asking for a DJ Music Man plushie, saying he's going to try his best to cook something up in the future. Now a DJ Music man hex plushie was not something i was thinking of in the past but it's definitely something i want right now but moving on now to youtube's they have finally released their much anticipated fnaf movie wave of products and this is probably their biggest fnaf drop yet they include five figures you got mike in the torture freddy head aka shreddy faz chair you've got vanessa you've got the yellow rabbit whose head you can swap out with william afton's you've got doug and then you've got quote unquote steve raglan at his desk but then also for plushies you've got balloon boy abby mike and springtrap but we're still not done because they've also released a pin set featuring bonnie giving abby a piggyback ride foxy hiding in the ball pit freddy hitting the showtime button mike sleeping with a dark and creepy yellow rabbit sneaking up behind him and then chica chucking mr cupcake right at your face now thankfully there is no time limit to this wave of products so you got until they eventually sell out to pick them up though like i said this is a gigantic wave it's gonna cost you a pretty penny if you want to get everything and again keep in mind this is only wave one of youtube's fnaf movie products we're also getting a second wave of figures and plushies in september but right before september in celebration of fnaf's 10 year anniversary Anniversary coming up. Austin from YouTube's did reveal that a special edition 8 inch figure will be released in August to celebrate the anniversary. Now, there is no other details on what exactly this figure is going to depict, whether or not it's just going to be a gigantic version of Freddy or some other character. Previously, YouTube's has done, I think they're called reveal figures, that has like one figure cut in half, and then there's a whole bunch of other small characters and details coming out of their chopped off side. But whatever they're cooking up, I'm super excited. What are your thoughts on the brand new YouTube's reveal? 
Marvels. But speaking of the FNAF movie, if you're a big fan of the film, you may have picked up the physical DVD over at Walmart with this really cool reflective shiny sleeve for the actual film's DVD. But my question is, have you ever looked at this and thought it could just use a little bit less of the FNAF characters and a little bit more? of just Carl the Cupcake. Because for some reason, Walmart is doing exactly that. Pretty soon they'll be releasing this brand new sleeve for the FNAF movie DVD that just features Mr. Cupcake. It's got a quote from Steve Raglan. If you're gonna have just one character on the cover, why not Freddy? It's just a super weird sleeve. I'm hopefully gonna be picking it up just because of how funny Just Cupcake looks on the cover. But considering how cool of a sleeve this was for the DVD, then going to just the cupcake, it's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. But moving on now to Security Breach Ruin. Not too long ago, the DLC finally released for players on Xbox. Though unfortunately, there was a bug on the port's launch that prevented Xbox players with Security Breach on disc from accessing the DLC. Thankfully, Steel has since released a patch fixing that issue, so if you own Security Breach on Xbox and you're waiting to play the DLC, now you can. But moving on now to some Fazbear fanverse news, let's start off with Pop Goes Arcade. Because very recently, Kane released this encrypted teaser, and when you decode it, it translates to the 2024 goaded final update for Pop Goes Arcade. Now, all the other text in this teaser is blurred out, so obviously we're not too sure what's gonna be included with this brand new update, but it's really fascinating. I cannot wait to see the goaded update for Pop Goes Arcade. But now let's move on to the joy of creation. Because Nixon has revealed the very first footage of the living room level in T-Jock. It would make sense if this is the second level that we encounter in the story mode of the Joy of Creation, and in this footage we can also see a bit of ignited Bonnie bursting into the room, looking around, eventually giving us a brand new jump scare. I should mention that Bonnie's running speed has been drastically increased in this footage, so do not expect him to run as fast as Sonic the freaking Hedgehog in the final game. But speaking of Bonnie, here is a behind-the-scenes look at his brand new jump scare showcase in this brand new gameplay. But now let's move on to some Scott Cawthon news, which might make me go out of business, because the other day, Scott released a brand new Reddit post titled News and Announcements Going Forward. Hey everyone, this is an important update and I'm happy to share it. The FNAF subreddit has been my go-to place over the years to post news and announcements, but I'm going to be moving away from that and instead have a more official source for news and announcements with an official Scott Games Twitter slash X account managed by a team of people who aren't me. The new Twitter account is FNAF underscore Scott game, so keep an eye out for FNAF news in the future. Okay, everyone, have a good weekend. That's right, Scott Cawthon saw that I finally surpassed 100,000 followers on Twitter, and now he's trying to take the spotlight away from me? With his very own franchise that he made? How dare he? Ever since the death of ScottGames.com, may it rest in peace, I feel like everyone's been waiting for some official either website or, in this case, Twitter account to manage FNAF news. And I guess ever since then, we've had all of the fan accounts posting the news so everyone can stay up to date, but it's still just super surreal to have an official FNAF news account. Ever since the account's creation a few days ago, they've not made any posts, they've not liked any posts, the only person they're following is PlayStation, which a lot of people have taken that as confirmation that a brand new PlayStation PlayStation FNAF game is in development, but two things about that. Number one, PlayStation and FNAF have been working together for several years now at this point. And also number two, Twitter requires you to follow at least one person when you do make an account. So I don't think it's worth looking into too much, but something we should be taking a look at is the account's profile picture, which has given us an official logo to celebrate the 10th anniversary of FNAF coming up in August. I really like the logo. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I love the colors. Doesn't really give us much of an idea as to what to expect for the anniversary but hopefully we get news from this account pretty soon. But that is going to do it for all the FNAF news today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.